All right, in this video, we're going to be answering the question is, how do you ground a vinyl H strip that is negatively charged in multiple locations? Better yet, it's just how do you ground any type of insulator that is, has any type of charge in multiple locations? So my insulator in this case is my vinyl H strip. It's an insulator because the atoms that make up this material have full valence electron shells. And what that means is that if, let's say, we have an excess amount of electrons here that's negatively charged right here, these electrons want to disperse, but they just can't move. There's no empty spaces in the valence shells for them to move through the material. So it stays negative right here. And then I'll notice that I also have some excess electrons right here. But everywhere else, my material, my vinyl H strip, is neutral. All right. My next object is going to be the, my person in this case. So any, um, any type of person, you are a conductor, which means that you have these empty valence shells, so electrons can move very freely throughout the atoms traveling along these valence shells, nothing blocking them. Uh, and in this situation, not only are you a conductor, but you are also going to be considered the ground. Um, and when we're grounding, a lot of times we could be talking about the actual ground, right? Like a really massive object like the Earth. Um, but really, when we're going to say that the ground, in, when we're talking about static electricity like this, is just any relatively massive object. So, the vinyl H strip is really small compared to how much mass you have. So in this case, you're in essentially an infinite reserve of electrons. Okay, so let's say we want to ground this vinyl H strip. Oh. So, by the way, we're going to say that uh, you are going to be neutral. And then also, since we're considering you to be the ground, we know automatically that if this is grounding, that afterwards, you're still going to have to be neutral as well. All right. So I want to ground, I want to neutralize my insulator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it towards my conductor. And now that I've made contact, this is just like charging with contact in this case. So electrons are going to flow. Um, and they're going to flow until uh, this area is neutralized, where I have an equal amount of electrons and protons. And the electrons are going to flow through the conductor right here. And in my previous models, I've kind of like, we've had conservation of charge, right? Like where I have like, I've kept my electrons there. Um, I still can, but keep in mind, I'll kind of like put them over here more towards the ground, is that relatively to how many electrons are actually in your body, this really did not make your body any more negative because you just have so many protons and electrons in your body that just adding this much really didn't change your charge because you're such a massive object compared to my vinyl H strip. All right, so let's look back, and my area is now neutralized. All right? But I still haven't completely grounded, in, uh, neutralized, my vinyl H strip, you'll notice that this area is still negative. And the reason why it wasn't grounded when I touched the conductor is electrons can't flow from this edge of my vinyl H strip through this material. They're blocked because all these spaces are filled by already existing electrons. So what I have to do is if I want to ground this strip at multiple locations, I literally have to take this section of my material and flip it around where... It makes contact with that conductor. So now I've made contact. This is just like before. These electrons are going to flow away from my vinyl H strip until they're neutralized. They're going to flow through my conductor. Everything's going to be evenly, the charge is going to be evenly dispersed. But even though I'm adding electrons to my conductor in this case, um, again, you are the ground. You're such a massive object by that by adding these electrons, you're really not changing your charge at all. So in afterwards, um, both objects, and I'll just flip this around so it says insulator, both objects are going to be completely neutral. This always happens when you end up grounding. 